you know, I, I, I think that what's, what's happened is that the Republican Party has become illegitimate. So, anyhow, there's that. And uh, you know, it's anything goes Friday, of course, you know, whatever you'd like to talk about. Um, I'd put that at the top of my list of things that I think are interesting and, and worthy of talking about. Our number, 202-808-9925, FYI. Um, also, uh, in our second hour, Victoria Jones is going to drop by. She you know, was born and grew up in the U.K. She's now a U.S. citizen. She's with the D.C. radio company. She's the chief Washington analyst. And uh, she does a great job of telling us what's really going on in the U.K. But uh, Jeremy Corbyn, kind of the U.K.'s Bernie Sanders, only he's, he's really not. I mean, Bernie is a pretty polished guy in some ways. Yeah, he, you know, he, he can wear a rumple, rumpled suit from time to time. But, but um, Bernie is such a better politician than Jeremy Corbyn. And Corbyn has some baggage, you know, some anti-Semitic baggage, you know, in his past, some uh, support of the IRA, which is not, not a popular thing in the U.K., and, and they were all over the place. The, the liberals, you know, uh, you know oh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to give you a four-day work week, week, and we're going to expand the National Health Service, and we're going to nationalize the railroads. And, 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 and really, I think, uh, and, you know, we'll reality check this with Victoria in an hour. And if you have any insights into this, if you have friends in the U.K., I've, I'm part of this uh, uh, email group, um, of people who have worked with Salem International, the, the, the International Relief Agency, and a lot of our, our members, uh, you know, former international relief workers, are, and, and some of them active, are in the UK. And we were talking about this overnight and this morning. Um, the other thing, though, that, that is very concerning is the role of Facebook in all this. Um, uh, the ability... And, and we're seeing this with the Trump campaign right now. Um, Judd Legum over at popular.info uh, was reporting that the Trump campaign, you know, they have that one famous ad with the lie about Joe, Joe Biden in it where, you know, Joe Biden's saying, I'm, I'm going to keep, we're going to withhold a billion dollars until, until you fire that prosecutor. And then they say the prosecutor was looking into Joe's son, which is not true. Um, and, in fact, the prosecutor was very corrupt. He wasn't looking into anything. That's why they wanted to fire him. Um, but that ad ha was such a blatant lie that when they tried to run it on CNN, CNN said, we won't carry it. But Facebook will. But more insidiously, they have over 1,400 different ads. And we've only seen a few of them. I mean, you don't see these ads unless you're one of the groups that they target. And uh, this is not a for example out of reality. This is a for example out of my imagination because I have not seen these ads and, and you pretty much can't see these ads unless you happen to be in one of these groups. But if they were making an ad, for example, targeting people who uh, own motorcycles, um, because Facebook's information about who you are and what you like and what you do is so finely tuned. So, and, and I don't know if, you know, motorcycles is one of the groups, but let's say, let's just assume. Um, so they put together an ad that says, uh, you know, liberals want to do away with motorcycles. You know, as some lie about the Green New Deal or something, you know, phasing out fossil fuels. By the way, uh, BMW is making, I believe it's BMW, and, and I think the, one of the Japanese companies, making electric motorcycles now. Um, but in any case... Uh, they could put together an ad, uh, you know, full of lies like so many of their ads are, and just tightly focus people. And there would never be a discussion in the media about it because the media never sees these ads. You know, the rest of us never see these ads. And Trump is doing this right now here in the United States, and he's spending millions of dollars a week very tightly targeting people, and, and uh, his ads on Facebook are apparently raising more money for him than they are costing him. So these aren't just ads, they're also fundraising ads. But apparently the same thing happened in the UK with regard to this election. And whether it was funded by cranky right-wing billionaires or whether it was funded by foreign governments or whatever, who knows? Who knows? But, uh, you know, and, and we probably won't know uh, the details of it, you know, just like we didn't know the details of, of foreign involvement and billionaire involvement in the Brexit uh, thing, you know, and, and Cambridge Analytica in the original Brexit vote, we probably won't know for months. But 
I'm not convinced. You know, there are people who are wringing their hands right now and saying, oh, my God, you know, the liberal lost in the UK and they speak English and they're kind of like us. And so the liberals going to lose in America and we're going to get Donald Trump again because they got Boris Johnson again. Well, Boris Johnson's kind of weird, but he's not Donald Trump. He's not anywhere near as corrupt or bizarre uh, or criminal as Donald Trump. Um, you know, he's he's eccentric, but he's not. I, I, I just think that analogy is is, you know, it unnecessarily scares Democrats. <laughs>